Okay, we have the Bagler Softail G10. This guy was in for a tune, and it's tuned. So we'll start with my secondary swing test first. I like to drape the handles, and I'm looking for the outside handle to keep advancing the, towards the blade when everything starts to slow down and come to a stop. Just like that. Just like that. There we go. All right, so we'll uh, first we'll do tap tests. We had a little bit of tap on that one inside handle when we shook it really hard. It's now gone. You might hear a little rattle. What that is is. That's your Zen pin, because watch, I'm holding everything tight. You can still hear it. That's the Zen pin moving in its channel because it's not exactly the perfect size to be smushed on by both sides. This side doesn't do it. It's just this one. Because even if we hold it in here, we can still hear it. But there we go. All right, so we'll do uh, see if we can get a little bit of sound out of her, huh? Not really. Bet you if those Zen pins were the correct size, where they're actually touching the insides of the handles, I bet you it would be nutty. Really, really nutty. All right, so here we go. We're looking for... Free swinging. Looking for a little tilt with enough force to kick the blade up a little bit. I usually fixture these against the thing, but because this is round, it's going to kind of be all wonky to hold, and I'm going to end up dropping it. So, and here's another one I like to do: drop them. See everything's moving down there, nice and separate, and it's slapping me in a knuckle too. We got movement free, and that's another one. Everything comes together at the very end. Nothing's being chased in. Everything's apart till it closes. Bagler Softail Rock Style.